Welcome to Just Get Up With Isaac for Daily Motivation. I welcome you to episode 16, part three of how to create opportunities for success. For a second, use your imagination. And let's say that you're on an escalator. And let's suppose that you are in a rush and several people are in front of you. So you can't go to the left or right and you can't push them out of the way. Now you can, but that probably wouldn't be a great decision. So you have two options, either push them out of the way or stay the course. And most likely you would simply stay the course until you arrive to the top floor. Now let's suppose that you are in a rush and no one is on the escalator. Would you simply stay the course and wait to arrive at the top or would you take some additional steps to speed up the process? Most likely you would take some additional steps or you could simply stay the course because you're still headed in the right direction. This illustration highlights this powerful point that Martin Luther King said. He said this one time, he once said this, if you can't fly, then run. And if you can't run, then walk. And if you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep moving forward. Are you currently on the right escalator in your life? Or are you moving forward in the right direction? Even if you have to pause, even if you have to slow down in life, as long as you're on the proper escalator and you're moving forward, you are still headed in the right direction. So from this point moving forward, as we continue to synapse this powerful series on how to create opportunities for success, it is essential that you continue to move forward in the right direction with and in your life. The question to ask your heart is, are you currently on the proper escalator? The escalator that will lead to you eventually achieving your goals and dreams. Now, I wanna talk about three powerful points today, which are knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Once you fully understand these three laws and principles, your opportunities for creating success will be astronomical. Your opportunities for creating success will be unlimited. And I'm sure that is what you want. Now I'm gonna make this statement, then I'm going to expound on the significance of these three principles and show you how to apply them. You cannot apply something you don't understand and you can't understand something you don't know. I'll say it again. You can't apply something you don't understand and you can't understand something you don't know. You see, a lot of reasons why people aren't able to create opportunities for success is they don't know and they don't understand. So information won't just pop into your head. You can't just hope thing for things to happen. You have to have a strategic plan and you have to understand what it means to execute. For example, when you first learned how to cross the street, you took in some knowledge. And what was that knowledge? Well, I need to learn how to cross the street. Now, you understand that. The understanding comes in when you apply to your life. Well, if I don't learn how to uh, cross the street safely, then I could get hit by a car and die or get injured. The wisdom comes in when you succinctly are able to estimate when to cross the street, when oncoming traffic is coming, or simply to wait until the coast or the post is clear. You see what I'm saying? That is wisdom. So you could still understand that crossing the street could kill you if you don't Uh, estimate the timing perfectly but the wisdom comes in when knowing exactly when to make that attempt like you're not going to chance it we've all had those experience before where we're getting ready to make a turn or do something and something says wait or don't go or we hesitate too long and then we decide to go at the last minute and that time elapsed which calls us to get in a wreck or something so understanding knowledge understanding and wisdom are some keys to creating opportunities for success. So in your current endeavors in life, the things that you truly desire to succeed in, are you taking in knowledge? Are you studying these things? Are you taking in a preponderance of knowledge? Are you being uh, prodigious in this way? Are you creating remarkable opportunities with the knowledge, the knowledge base that you're taking in? Then another thing, are you committing this to understanding? See, if you don't understand the knowledge, it doesn't serve you. 
This is why people who have uh, sometimes have fitness goals fail because they're not understanding the process. And then another thing, they don't understand how to succinctly or clearly and precisely make their individual goals come into fruition. So you must understand. And one of the ways to check for understanding is to see what it, it has produced for other people who have done what you desire to do. So you should be able to have an idea or know exactly what it's going to produce. Now the third step is the wisdom, knowing how to apply it succinctly. So for example, to create a certain recipe, you have to follow the steps. So you have to understand that if I follow these steps, it will lead to this. Then follow those things precisely, exactly as illustrated. So do you have wisdom toward the things that you want in life? Now, if you're not producing what you want, it's simply because maybe you're in you're stuck in step one, or you could be stuck in step two. But step three, wisdom is proven righteous by its works, by its results. So it's never wisdom if it's not producing the results that you want. So sometimes we don't create the proper opportunities for success because we don't grow to understand the wisdom. We don't grow to the point of understanding the process. We don't grow to the point of producing small results that we can see so that we can know that we're headed in the right direction. And sometimes we don't change up our direction because we try to make things work that aren't working. Do you do this? If you do this, you must stop. So understand those particular principles. So take in this knowledge base. What did other people do in that field that you want? That's how you create opportunities for success and then recognize that you won't understand everything right away. So it comes with experience. As one, one, as one guy once told me, experience, or a theory better stated, is at the mercy of experience. Now keep this in mind, not all experiences are good experiences. So you don't need all experiences, but good experiences can help you achieve your goals and dreams. Now another thing, when you understand something, you can teach it and you can put your stamp on it. You can put your name on it, you can put your image on it. You can say, I guarantee this product because you understand it. Now, when the wisdom comes in, you know when to move, you know when not to move. You know when to act and you know when not to act. Sometimes you have to take a step back. Then you have to also know when to keep going or moving forward. So right now, today, before we move on to the next episode, I want you to commit to progressing to wisdom. Most likely, you're either stuck in the knowledge stage or the understanding stage, but we need to move on to wisdom. Once you, are, once you have this wisdom, you will produce the results that you're looking for. So the question, the question to ask you is if you put five years into your goals and dreams, 10 years or 15 years, where are you right now? Do you have any clear objective signs that you're headed in the right direction? See, a lack of wisdom could be displayed in the form of being lazy. A lack of wisdom could be displayed in the form of not working hard enough. Sometimes enough isn't enough. Sometimes you must do more than what's proven or, what, or more than enough. See, you can't assess yourself based on how you feel you must assess yourself based on what you're producing so don't make excuses for yourself so again you cannot apply something you don't understand and you can't understand something you don't know so are you listening to audio programs are you reading are you asking questions are you talking to people who have done what you want to do do you even know what you want to do do you allow yourself to become more focused on the how than taking action? You see, an idea without actions, that idea is trash. It'll never happen. It'll never come into fruition. So don't fall prey to that. That's a lack of wisdom. Understand the principles of success. One of these main principles are you must get the work right away, figure out the rest as you are traveling on your journey to success. So imagine that you're on this escalator and because people are in your way, you know, let's say that's the only way to get to that, to the top floor and you keep getting off or you keep taking a step back. You'll never get to the top. You must keep going forward. Even if someone is in your way or if things are in your way, 
if you're in a situation, if you turn around, you never achieve your goal. And actually, that's not wise. You say, okay, I'm gonna, I'll just come back later. Stay the course. You must stay the course to bring your goals and dreams into fruition. So I want to end with this. It's very imperative for you to step it up now. It's very imperative for you to go the extra mile. It's very imperative for you to not procrastinate anymore. It's very imperative for you to expedite this process by doing more than what's required, doing more than what you're accustomed to doing. If you normally run one mile, go ahead and run a one mile and a half as an example. Do a little more and your mind will adapt and it will adjust. But simply make sure the more that you're doing is in the right direction. Because if you don't, that more that you're going to do will be a waste of time. And again, there will be a lack of wisdom. So do you have understanding? Do you have knowledge? And do you have wisdom? Understanding, knowledge, and wisdom. Or knowledge, understanding, or wisdom are the keys for success. So I welcome you back next week for episode 17, part 4 of How to Create Opportunities for success. And remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel, pre-order my book, Just Get Up and Manifest Your Inner Genius. It's available for pre-order for hardcover and softcover. And once the book is officially released, the ebooks will be up and the audio book, the audio book will be available next month. So again, support me. It's a great book. It'll teach you how to just get up. It'll teach you how to be successful. And it'll teach you how to discover your goals and dreams. It's philosophically sound, scientifically sound, and biblically sound. Put those three things together. You are on the road to success. So just get up and go manifest your inner genius. It's been a pleasure. I'm Isaac Miller, your motivational speaker, fitness trainer, sales coach, author, and I am inspiration. Have a great one. Thank you.